Hey everyone, welcome back to Positively Fishing. I am standing in the middle of a creek, but today we are not actually fishing. I'm trading in my fishing rods for a shovel and a gold pan. We're gonna dig around in this creek a little bit and see if we can find a little bit of gold. Stay tuned. First scoop. Let's see what we got here. Dig this first scoop out. Throw it into my pan. Let's maybe get one more out of that hole. Oh. There we go. Get a little more in there. Now you can see that this stuff is pretty sandy. It's right off the top. So we're gonna take a look at this and see if there's any gold in it. Stay tuned. So I've got this first pan panned down to just a little bit of material left in here. It's mostly black sand and I did leave a little bit of that lighter colored sand in there. Now that black sand is the heavy stuff and the gold likes to settle with that black sand. So I'm going to start pulling this back slowly, see if we got any gold in here. Kind of rocking the pan back and forth. This pulls back all the lighter material. And the heavy stuff stays up top. A couple of those bigger rocks out of the way. Now, I don't know if the camera's showing this or not, but there are a few pieces of gold up there. Get a little more of that black sand out of there. Not sure how well it's showing it, but right up here, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven small pieces of gold. Well, there's one more over here. So that, I would call, pretty darn good pan. I'm gonna grab my, ooh, that guy got away from me there. I'm gonna grab my snuffer bottle and suck that up. So I'm gonna get my snuffer bottle in here. S suck up all that gold. Oh, a little bit more over here. All right. Let's do another one. Well, that first pan turned out pretty darn good. So I'm gonna take another pan right out of the same hole. What I'm scooping into is actually a classifier on top of that pan. And what that does is it helps me screen out the bigger rocks. That particular one I think is a half an inch. So any rocks that are bigger than a half an inch I just get washed off, get all the gold off of them, and then I can just throw those rocks back in and pan out, pan out the good stuff. So that's what this looks like here in the classifier. So now I'm just gonna set this, set this right in the water here. Rattle that around real good. Then all that, there's no gold in here that's that big. So we can just chuck that out of the way. And then what we're left with is all the smaller sand and gravel. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that all loosened up. And that gold is about 18 times heavier than anything else in this pan. So that gold right now is settling down to the bottom of the pan. And then I can start letting some of the lighter stuff, those lighter rocks and sand, let those flow right off the pan. And then every time we do that, we shake it, get that gold to settle back down on the bottom. Shake it up again. And we're back at it. Now when we get down to this point, we gotta start being a little bit more careful. Starting to see the black sand poking through. So now I'm trying to make sure only that white light colored sand is washing out of there. 
and keeping all that black sand in the pan. Once the black sand starts working its way up, then I pull everything back into the pan and get all the gold shaken down to the bottom. Get rid of a few more of those rocks. Okay. Got this almost down as far as I want it. Kind of moment of truth here. Get a little of that water out of there. Shaking it down. Now, the way I pan, and I don't know why it does this, but my heaviest of the heavy stuff in my pan likes to settle right here on this side, in this corner. So if I'm panning quick, I what I like to do is I like to kind of swirl the, I got a little too much water in there. I like to kind of swirl the water and then start bringing the lighter stuff back. And right in that upper right corner there, I can see a couple real small specks showing up. Now I would say this pan isn't anywhere near as good as that first pan was, but there is gold in it. Right here, right up in here. There's maybe three or four or five real small pieces. Can you see them on there at all? Kind of, yeah. Okay, real small pieces. Well, now that we found out that there's a little bit of gold here, what I think I'm gonna do is shovel scoops on top of this classifier over this five gallon bucket. We're gonna get a little bit of dirt in that pail and then we're going to run it through my little river sluice. So I'm gonna get after that and then I'll show you how the sluice works. All right, now right here we've got some, got some gray clay. It's got a little bit of gravel mixed in with it. That's good stuff. The gold likes to stick to that. So now I'm gonna rattle this around. Toss some of these bigger ones that are washed off out of there. Make sure. Now this, this rock right here is kind of interesting. It's got lots of little pockets in it. And right here we've got that clay and all those little pockets. And that is a great place for gold to stick. So we want to make sure we get that all the way cleaned off. All right, we're gonna do that a couple more times and then we're gonna run it through the sluice. Any gold out of there? Now this classifier right here is an eighth inch classifier. So any of these rocks that are bigger than an eighth of an inch are gonna stay behind. And I promise you, there's no gold in this creek that is going to get stuck behind from this eighth inch classifier. Toss that off to the side and let's get the sluice set up. So I got the sluice set up. Kind of had to do it quick and dirty because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, normally it'd be nice to kind of build this up and get a little more water flow on it. But basically what this does is you scoop the material onto it and the lighter stuff gets washed off of there and all the heavy stuff gets left behind. So let's throw a scoop on there and see what she does. It's actually running pretty good right here. Behind those big riffles, all, you, all that lighter stuff is getting processed out of there. Black sand is getting trapped up behind the riffles. Up in this top black V-mat, those are cleaning out pretty well too. You can see all the lights washing their way down. 
hoping we might get a little speck of speck of gold up there while we're doing this but might be a little hard to see without the sun all right I'm gonna work my way through this and then we'll see how it looks when we're done Pick this up, into the bucket it goes. All right. So this particular sluice has two different types of riffles. It's got these really big, aggressive ones. Give those a quick rinse. Pull these smaller ones off. Give those a quick rinse. And then it's got this carpet here. And this carpet, hopefully, is where a lot of that gold is trapped. So I'm just gonna throw that down there for now. A few splashes on the sluice. Flip it over again. Make sure that V-mat is good and cleaned out. Clean out this carpet here. All right, and now what we're left with is I don't know, maybe about a half a cup of material. We're gonna throw that in the pan, pan it out, see how we did. That's all cleaned out. So this is all that's left of that. It, there was about a half full, five gallon bucket full of material. There are some lights still on top, some of that light sand and those smaller rocks. Those would be real easy to pan off. Uh, and then when we get down to that black sand again, we'll take it a little bit slower and see how we did. So first thing I'm gonna do, like I did before with those pans. Slosh it around. Make sure we get all the gold down to the bottom. Pull some of those light sands off of there. Now I'm starting to get down to a lot of that black sand. So I'm gonna slow down and take my time here a little bit. Now this pan has riffles on it, the grooves, and hopefully if any of that gold sneaks up towards the lip of the pan, it gets caught behind those riffles, stays behind. So right now, I'm not too worried about losing any of that gold, because like I said earlier, that gold is 18 times heavier than anything else in the pan. And see how black that's turning in there? Get that up there. So mostly we're left with right now, mostly black sand and some ironstone, heavier minerals. We're gonna peel a little bit more of this off and then we'll wash it back and see how we did. It's about as far back as I wanna take it. So let's see how we did here. I guess I could have taken her down a little bit farther. There's still quite a bit of black sand in there. But I like panning, so that's okay. If you don't like panning, then you can speed this part of the video up a little bit. Now, if you haven't panned before, the key to this part is just letting the water do the work, rock it back and forth, and if you see any gold starting to sneak down, 
you can just push it back up or you can tap the top of the pan and that'll usually knock the gold right up to that little lip. Now, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I say there's close to 20 pieces in there. Now I pan this back pretty quick. I'm sure that I'm sure that I washed some of the gold back with the black sand. But for one half of a bucket out of a random spot that I've never been before, that's not too shabby, I don't think. Well, thanks for watching this non-fishing video on this fishing channel. It's been a lot of fun. If you want to see more gold panning videos, let me know in the comments. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. And I will see you in the next video. We've got this last batch. Whoa! Gonna do that one over.